All right, hey guys, welcome to the return to Bloody Night demo. So uh, yeah, this is a demo for the return to Bloody Night. So uh, this is an upcoming Finance of Freddy's fan game. So uh, yeah, if you want to check out this fan game for yourself, the game drop link will be in the description below. And if you have no idea what Bloody Night is, well, basically about a year to two to three years ago, I don't know, a few years back ago, um, the same game developer made a game called Five Nights at Bloody Nights or Five Bloody no, it was Five Bloody Nights at Freddy's. Um, they made that game, and uh, this is like a remastered version of that. And I did play the old version of the game, and I remember absolutely loving it. So uh, I can't wait to see what this Return to Bloody Nights is going to look like. And already by the main menu, I got to say it already looks great. Um, I love how it has like these different scroll options. So right here you have Story Mode, which is the main Five Nights. Then you have Payday, which is for Saturday, Night 6. Then you have some Challenge Modes. Um, which again, I'm assuming this is not going to be available because this is the demo version for this game. Um, there's also a extras menu and also an achievements uh, little list. So uh, yeah, there you go. Um, but anyways, I say we go ahead and hop straight into it and let's see what this demo's all about. Again, if you want to check out this game for yourself, I highly recommend. Uh, the game jolt link will be in the description below. So anyways, without further ado, let's hop into Monday. Also, make sure to leave a like on this video if you guys do want me to play this game whenever the full version does come out. Oh. Ooh, there we go. Some backstory. It's Monday here at Fredbear's Family Diner. Oh my goodness. I love how this looks. Just by that image, it looks like a Chuck E. Cheese. Oh my goodness. Like, reminds me of like Chuck E. Hey, Cheese. Hi, it's me, Karen. This week I have to finish my shift early, so I can't stay longer to meet and talk with you. Oh no. So I decided to leave you an audio cassette every day before I leave. Our boss has appointed me to inform you about the rules and how to behave in some special situations that relate to your new position. Alas, due to some recent incidents, the management demanded a guard for the night shift. I know you've been hired as a costume briefing assistant, but trust me, out of all the other staff, only you can handle this position. Salary will be good, no doubt. Also, if you can finish this week without any problems, then you'll also be given a voucher for some free pizzas. Good, isn't it? I want to warn you right away that if there are violations of the rules, your salary may be lowered or you may even be fired. So please listen to what I tell you, okay? The most important thing in your job is that you do not allow any damage to the equipment or other properties of the pizzeria. So I would advise you to simply stay in your seats unless necessary. Only resort to extreme measures if you notice someone or something breaking into the pizzeria from the outside. There have been no such instances, but just case, then we want you to act as carefully as possible. I want to note that the cameras record everything that happens in case something does not go according to plan. Now let's talk about the office and your personal safety. In front of you, there is a video surveillance system on which you can observe everything in the building. There are mechanical doors on the east and west sides that you can close in case of an emergency or... Oh yes, I forgot to remind you. Our bosses value and take care of all the equipment very much, but especially the pizzeria mascots in the form of animatronics. 
lately, workers have noticed that the animatronics are wandering around the P3 at night for some unknown reason. Our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, but the working theory is that the robots have been introduced, so to speak, to a new night mode that was just a little underdeveloped. So when it gets quiet and dark, they think they're in the wrong room, so they go and try to find where people are, another loud noise or light. Unfortunately, in this case, that place would be your office. So if you see any wandering animatronics walking up to you, avoid any contact with them and just close the doors by clicking on the appropriate button. Our bosses do not want you to touch them, and therefore it's just better to be aware of them and close the doors at the right time. This should scare off the mask off a little, and then hopefully, if you get lucky, they'll just wander off in the opposite direction. We haven't tested this out, so you'll be the first one trying this method. Oh, I oh, would boy. continue talking to you, but I gotta go. Remember my advice? Inspect the pizzeria through the video surveillance system, keep your eyes open, and do not let the animatronics get too close to you. Don't forget that you have a flashlight, as this place can get quite dark. Okay, I wish you good luck and a good night. See you in the morning. Hi. Okay, we got a lot to talk about. So, first of all, there was the phone call or the cutscene before night one even began with Henry and William. It sounds like, oh, William's ca killed some kids and Henry caught on to him. But William's like, you got to be quiet or else they'll close down our restaurant together. Um, and also, you've got this nice little portrait right here onto the side of like Henry and William. So, that's really cool to see. Um, we got Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie. They're standing still. Something I've noticed is that this is the puppet's box behind me. So, I'm assuming the puppet's back there. Which, I wonder if that means um, Henry's daughter has been killed yet. Or if they're using that lore in this, uh, in this scenario. Or if it's supposed to be some other kid. I know in the regular FNAF lore, it is Henry's daughter. But in this game, the lore might be slightly different. Um, but I would assume it's similar. So, uh, yeah, we got Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie. I could have sworn I saw a shadowy figure standing right there. I, I think I'm just tripping. Um, yeah, I'm probably just tripping. Um, but, uh, anyways, it's 2 a.m. We got some arcades. We got Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie. There is generator heat. I have no idea what that's for. That might be a different way. I just saw s four. What? I just saw that sticky note on the fan change and stop him. What? We got a hidden mini game already? What the heck? Oh, there's the puppet. Uh oh. What's going on, puppet? What happens if we go the other way, though? Alright, come on, Golden Fredbear. Come on, Fredbear. We gotta save them. Yo, there's Shadow Bonnie. Oh no. Oh my goodness. This is really retro. I gotta say, I love that about the cameras as well. That looks super old style. Oh dang. All right, come on, Fred Bear. Come on, we gotta go. We gotta save them. Wait for me, puppet. Oh, my stubby little legs can't run any faster. Oh, there's a murderer on the loose. We gotta stop him. Oh, 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 run faster. Oh, oh no, it's prep. Oh, he sh he shoved the puppet in the box. Oh, it wasn't me, Mr. Afton. Oh, he touched me. And there you go. There's a mini game. So I guess. So yeah, the puppet is in that box. That's what that just confirmed. And that was in the office. Um, okay, interesting. So, um, oh, now I have to sit through all of this again. Are you kidding me? All right, well, anyways, let's talk a little bit. So Fredbear right there was, uh, that was like very similar to FNAF 2 with um, Withered Freddy going after the puppet. And it's like, oh, God, stop, Purple Guy. I, I, why is Purple Guy so overpowered? Whenever, like, with a regular security guard, if an animatronic comes up to them, the security guard's gonna die. But with Purple Guy, Purple Guy's the complete opposite. It's like, oh, I see a robot. I beat the crap out of it, apparently. So, apparently, Fredbear is definitely possessed. They are, can, they are confirmed to be possessed. I'm pretty sure the puppet's also possessed, because why would the puppet just go over there? That seems kind of strange. Um... But, um, and I don't know what the puppet, it was like, stop him, stop purple guy from, from doing what? What was, what was purple guy doing? It seemed like he was just chilling in the office, you know, doing his security guard job. He was just chilling and stuff. And, um, Fred Bear just straight up attacked him. So, uh, that was nice, but, uh, that was a cool hidden mini game. I just like, I, I saw in the sticky note, I saw it change to a code and then it changed back to text. I was like, what the heck? And I flipped to the puppet and I went back and then the code was back. So I was like, might as well type this in. And uh, <laughs> there you go. There was that mini game. I'm like, what in the world? I, I barely saw that sticky note change out of the corner of my eye. So that's a cool Easter egg. I like that. I like how that changed. 
um because that was something else i was gonna say um but the person was talking like the main office person or the recording tape was talking so i couldn't like comment on like everything in the office um but one thing i did notice was that little keypad right there and i even pressed the number on it to see if it worked and that reminded me back to sister location the stuff I, I love this game how it brings back like stuff from old games like sister location like punching in the codes to get to the fnaf 4 kids bedroom um what else was there there was um here we are in the office um let's see here there's like the recording tape like from fnaf 6 um one thing the recording tape did say was uh about how the animatronics move at night and stuff i love how it used the same excuse from fnaf 1 um because that like makes it more in tied into the fnaf verse like because that just makes all the employees think like oh this is the reason why they move at night it's some type of faulty night mode and our engineers never figured out why so i like that also i like how there's this certification right here for william um you know shows he 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 got a degree um let's see we got some i think is that money why is there just i think that's oh wait no that's sticky notes is that sticky notes that seems i was gonna say sticky notes because like you got this sticky note it's like the same color but this seems a lot longer than this sticky note this is like a short sticky note that's like a long sticky note but i don't know that that's i think that's sticky notes or or thing of money i don't know i don't think that's actually money but you got a pin so i guess it would make sense that that's sticky notes because they would write on there put on the sticky note and stuff um there you go you got these little heads that you can boop around um yeah oh gosh back here there's like all these why they're baby dolls back here that is that is that is creepy um but uh yeah, there you go. You got celebrate right there. Um, there is the date. It's June twenty seventh. So uh, that's when uh, that's when this takes place on June twenty seventh. I think it is nineteen seventy nine right now here at Fred Bear's Family Diner. So uh, your duty is to protect. Yeah, protect myself from you, Mister Spring Bonnie. So uh, yeah. Oh gosh, I just realized you can turn your flashlight on in the doorway. Oh no, I thought it was just gonna be like eyes glow up like Five Nights at Can't. Oh, that is creepy. So, oh, there's an endoskeleton back there and there's like Fredbear costumes like from FNAF 3. Holy frick! Oh my goodness, like so many different callbacks. Oh, that is, that is creepy. But luckily our flashlight doesn't have a battery, but it looks like if we hold it on too long it will like fade out. I don't like that music. I don't like it at all. So no one's moved. Um, if that code thing appears again, I'm not typing it back in. Um, because I do not want to sit through all sit through this phone call again. But uh, I think that's like a yellow phone up there. There's like a giraffe. There's like baby heads. This is weird. So yeah, there's that. 2 a.m. Oh, I would continue talking to you, but I gotta go. Remember my fight. I really, I, I don't know why, but I feel like we're going to see, like, a figure, like, pop up in that doorway right there. I don't know, this is some creepy stuff. You got, like, parts and service right here. Where are we at? We're right here. This is where we're at. We're located right here. Oh, gosh. Okay, yep, no one's there. I don't like how there's, like, a huge dark alleyway through there. Can they get into this room on my right? Oh, yeah, they can, because there's, like, a hallway right there. And then there's like a mini parts and service room right there. A bigger one up there. This place, this is actually a pretty huge location for Fred Bears. I, th I This is bigger than the FNAF 2 location, I just realized. I don't know, I keep feeling like there's like something there. A little weird. I'm not ready if the puppet appears behind me. I'm not, I'm not ready for that. Yep, no one's there. Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie, they're just chilling right there. Um... And again, I love these cameras, how they're like all old style as well. All right, so yeah, they're all just chilling. No one there, no one there. Oh, uh, the puppet. So I know there's Fred Bear, Spring Bonnie, and the puppet. I don't know if there's gonna be any other animatronics introduced, maybe like an endoskeleton or something could appear, or like some old animatronics or something. I, I have no idea what's gonna what's gonna happen in this location but um seems uh seems kind of spooky but i gotta say everything here is very well made like holy frick okay uh, oh there's spring bonnie spring bonnie oh and spring bonnie's moving what the heck it's like spring bonnie's breathing what that is creepy what time is it 3 a.m oh my that is creepy wait go back oh sorry oh spring bonnie's gone footsteps. Spring Bonnie. 
Oh, there's Spring Bonnie. Oh, that is creepy. That is creepy. Spring Bonnie's there. Spring Bonnie. Okay, Spring Bonnie can either go down. I don't like how Spring Bonnie could either go down the left or right door. I don't know what door Spring Bonnie's gonna go down. Um. Oh gosh. Uh oh. He moved again. See up here. Okay, Spring Bonnie went up here. Spring Bonnie's at the bathrooms right now. Okay, that's fine. That's kind of far away. Uh, Fred Bear's still chilling at the stage. I don't like how I can hear that music box. That is creepy. All right, so there we go. Everything's fine. Oh, but, oh, there's another code. That's a different code. Can I just like write that one down? I'll I'll write that down. We'll come we'll come back for that code later. I want to beat this night first. Um, because the code, I'm assuming it'll still work later. So I guess there's like different codes to get access to different mini games. I'm assuming that's what it is. Um, so I think we got like the save the mini game earlier, but there could be like a different one, like give cake or something. So that way we can see what happens after, um, after we beat this night, we'll go check out that, that second code we got. We'll see if it takes us to, takes us back to the same mini game as before, or if it takes us to a completely different one. I think it'll take us to a different one. Um, in this red bear, there's spring Bonnie. Yeah, puppet's chilling. Nobody's there. Nobody's there. Nobody's there. Spring Bonnie is gone. Oh, Spring Bonnie's in the right hallway. Alright, I think on this night we only have to deal with Spring Bonnie, but it never hurts to be safe. Yeah, Fred Bear's not gonna move. It's 5 a.m. I don't know about the puppet. I don't trust the puppet right here. Spring Bonnie's right outside that door. Spring Bonnie. Oh, whoops. Spring Bonnie. Spring Bonnie, old pal, what you do? What you up to over there? Oh! How long does it? Does that mean he left? Yeah, okay, so whenever he goes to the dome, he goes there. Why can't I keep the door closed forever? I, I'm assuming the door has, like, a timer on it that you can't keep it closed forever, but, like... Huh, interesting. Well, it's, uh, it's 5 a.m. Some money got sent back, so it, I guess it should be 6 a.m. any second now. Just gotta wait out the clock. You know what they say? Um, there we go. doop a doop a doop doop a doop Also, I have no idea if there's a night 2 or not in this demo. Um, oh, 6 a.m. Yay! We did it! Ding, 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 dong. Hey, let's go, 6 a.m. Oh. Is this me? Oh, I'm controlling. Uh oh. That was a cutscene. I guess we gotta figure out where the main source is coming from. Oh, oh, oh well, it's just Fredbear. Nothing sus going on here. Hey, we got Tuesday now. All right, well there we go. There was a, uh, there was Monday. That actually went by super. Actually went by super long. Holy frick! All right, well I guess let's go into Tuesday. Um, oh we got another phone call. Hey, William. Hey, Henry. Listen. I can't handle this anymore, Will. I... Wait. I think... What? I can't help you anymore with your actions. What? I am so sorry, William. I feel worse every day. Helping you do these... These awful things is making me suffer, and I cannot continue like this. No. No. You cannot leave like this. After all things that we have done, you are responsible as well. Yes. Yes. And that's exactly why I'm refusing to continue doing these things. I have a daughter, Will. She's my family. I care about her. What if... What if I get arrested? She will be alone. She can't be without me. I told you that everything is under control. And you should not be worrying about it. 
We discussed this hundreds of times. So, only now have you started to think differently. I am truly sorry, but I am done. I don't want to be involved with your crimes anymore. But in return for letting me go, I will tell no one what you and I have done. I will keep my mouth shut. I still can't believe you are doing this. You remember that we also had to continue building those new robots, right? I need you for that work. You are a master of that type of engineering. From this moment forward, it's up to you, William. I did almost all that you needed from me. I believe you can finish the rest of the work on your own. You are a coward, you know that. I am what I am, but I don't want to help you any further. I just want you... I need you to understand that. There will be consequences from your decision. I... I know that. This will not be easy for you to leave. Soon, you will know what I mean. And there's the phone call. Holy frick. All right, it's already, it's finally Tuesday. Oh my goodness. All oh, those cutscenes are nice. Holy frick. It does kind of make me wish there was a skip button because I want to type in that code. Oh, oh yeah, hi. But I don't want to sit through all that again. Karen here again. Karen. What? Well done. There Hold up. No I don't. I don't think I can work here anymore. If I'm working for Karen, I, I don't think I can. I. I can't do this job anymore. If Karen's my manager, that's it. I quit. Of course. Some vandal or thief breaks in, but that probably won't happen. Oh, what? A thief breaks in? Have any of the animatronic characters started to move? Well, this is a recording. How am I supposed to respond to you? Today, but since you didn't report anything, everything is probably all right. What? How do I report? Uh, I, I need to like send a report. How do you like your new uniform? The uniform was issued just recently to all employees. I have a uniform. I can't see my uniform. By the way, I had a hand in the design of this uniform, and I'm super proud of it. I always dreamed of working in a different field, but here I was happy to do something other than guarding during the day. Maybe someday I'll get out of here and become a fashion designer. Only in my dreams, I guess. Uh, okay. Today I was given a sheet with some important information about our management and founders of the pizzeria. I was asked to read it to you, but the text is quite long and I don't have enough time to read everything, so I'll try to paraphrase. While I read, don't forget to check the cameras, as it's really important that you keep your eyes open the whole time. Okay, let's see. That means they're gonna start moving. Founders of Fredbear's Family Dino. Uh, who is that? Henry Emily, Chief Engineer in Robotics. Who is this? And creator of all main animatronics. I knew there would be someone and standing William outside. Madison, who also works in the robotics field and is mostly responsible yep. for the financial statements of the establishment. Where are all these beep sounds? The men met at the university and planned to the open cameras? some kind of small diner. But after many years, they finally succeeded, and in 1979, when a small company named Fazbear Entertainment founded the first establishment called Fredbear's Family Diner was built. The main feature of the pizzeria are two robotic characters, a robot bear named Fredbear and a robot rabbit named Springbonnie. Both of them became local stars, and soon the place became very popular. Fazbear Entertainment has received a large budget and has already managed to build another nearby pizzeria with a new updated cast of characters, and already has more plans for the future. Recently, our establishment has begun to lose popularity because of other new establishments in our town. As I understand it, our engineers are developing new versions of the characters to try to bring popularity back to the diner. I heard that they may start using the uh -oh. new animatronics this week, as it turns out the old ones may be impossible to fix. Or they don't want to? I don't know, it's something that Mr. Afton doesn't want to allow. Seems like the new ones are much better and they use kind of different technology. Uh, I'll let you know as soon as there is any news on this matter. Hmm. Okay. So, um, all I need from you is that you stay alert. Until the new robots are delivered, the old uh -oh, ones they're both moving. bother you, but don't worry. 
I'm sure you can do it. I personally think this job is going to be easy as long as you remain in your seat. Check the cameras and make the least noise possible. Remember, if you notice that animatronics have made it to your doors, close them as soon as possible. Uh, okay, I must go. I'll check in tomorrow to make sure everything's alright, and I'll leave you the next audio tape. Good luck, and have a good night. Bye. Alright, so we got some things to talk about. First of all... Fredbear is moving. Same with Spring Bonnie. Fredbear and Spring Bonnie are moving. That's not good. Second of all, there was a person standing at that door. Not creepy at all. I have no idea who that was. That I've, I, I feel like that was William, but I honestly have no idea what that is. Um, so it is confirmed that Henry's daughter is still alive right now, according to that tape or that phone call we got from the other night. Um, but I have a feeling she is probably going to die. William is probably going to kill her soon. And um, I have a feeling when, when she dies, the puppet will become a problem with us. Um, because I'm assuming the puppet's gonna want to try to kill us so that way it can escape the main office. So, uh, yeah. But, uh, anyways, doop a doop a doop. Doop a doo doo. Where'd Spring Bonnie go? Spring Bonnie's in the bathroom. Doop a doop. Doop a doop. So, yep, yeah, just another nice normal day. So, since Spring Bonnie came from the right door, I'm assuming Fred Bear's going to come from the left door. Fred Bear is creepy. Ugh. I don't like how creepy Fredbear looks. And Spring Bonnie is... Oh, there's Spring Bonnie. That's not creepy whatsoever. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why is this... Why is this so creepy? No one's in the box. No one's over there. Spring Bonnie's chilling right there. Fredbear... Oh, Fredbear's all the way over there. Fredbear is moving slowly. Yeah, I have a feeling since... I have a feeling, um, since Spring Bonnie comes down from this right door right here, I feel like Fredbear is going to actually go all the way around. Because that's what it looks like Fredbear is doing, because he's going, like, far off to the side of the room. Uh-oh. Uh, spooky Spring Bonnie boy. Uh-oh. Oh, there's Fred. Oh, Fredbear's waving. That is... That is creepy. Fredbear... Oh gosh, Fredbear, that is creepy. Look at Fredbear right there. Fredbear's waving in the cameras. Fredbear knows we're here. Oh, Spring Bonnie's back there. Yeah, so Fredbear is definitely going to come through like this way. Oh my goodness, these cameras are creepy. Oh wait, there's Fredbear. What? Okay, oh, Fredbear went up there. Okay, I guess Fredbear is going to go through the hallway. But I really do feel like something's going to come from, like, down that corridor right there. But yeah, Fairbear's going to come down this hall, but I feel like there's going to be something coming through that direction. I'm just checking on the puppet. I know the puppet's probably not even possessed yet, but, like, it never hurts to check. Better safe than sorry. Uh-oh, they're both coming. There's Fredbear, there's Spring Bonnie. Oh, Spring Bonnie's getting close. And luckily there is some like audio cues. Oh, that is creepy. I want to go ahead and close the door now. That is creepy. What? How did I die? Oh my gosh, did- was I supposed to like close the door beforehand? Cause Spring Bonnie didn't make an audio cue that time. Spring Bonnie was in the hallway on the cameras and then just jumped in. I wonder if it's because I accidentally went to the puppet. That's the problem with putting the camera system down. That's one thing I've noticed with this game is like when you put the cameras down, if you like- if you like- if you keep your mouse there for too long it automatically makes you look at the puppet. Which I find that kind of annoying because I kept doing that on accident a few times. I think that's how I died right there because instead of going to, to the door to, um, you know, uh, close on Spring Bonnie, it took me to the pup. And I think that's why he instantly killed me right there. Um, or it was just I had to close the door beforehand and I didn't know. But uh, that was creepy with Fredbear on the camera with his mask open up. Holy frick, that is, that was creepy. But um, yeah, so anyways, guys, that is, um, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I've already been playing this game for like about half an hour now, 
which is kind of insane um but yeah there you go there's the return to bloody night so i'm assuming the demo would have ended after tuesday um but if i find out that in this demo wednesday is also available i will come back and make a second video on the demo um but uh yeah so if you guys want me to return to this game in the future whenever the full game comes out make sure to leave a like on this video um again game drop link is in the description below i highly recommend it um recommend checking this game out it is freaking fantastic so uh yeah but anyways guys hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and i'll see you guys next time goodbye uh